got a rather grand title there. My other title actually is Detective Inspector, South Yorkshire Police, now part of a regional team across seven police forces. Just a little bit about my background, just so you understand the context. I've been in uh, police for 25 years, majority of that in CID. Since about 2005, been involved in digital investigation, covert investigation, online, offline, uh, digital forensics, comms, uh, and more recently, cyber. Um, this really is a culmination of some hard work by colleagues in Scotland and hopefully you'll see maybe how this will sort of tie everything together about what's been talked about. So I think a lot of this evening has been around what are the threats, what are the risks, what should you fear and probably you know what to do next. A lie, that's slide one. <laughs> in fact, this is also Lizzie, so if you see us around networking later, please come and have a chat to both of us. I will stick some uh, cards over there as well, but the last slide is just some contact details. So, North East Business Resilience Centre. I'm just start in the top right, sort of work round. This is bringing together seven police forces. So from Sheffield, through West Yorkshire, <coughs> Underside, North Yorkshire, Durham, Cleveland, Northumbria. When I'm talking in terms of the North East, that's, that's what we are. It's also bringing together two ROCUs, which are the regional crime support units for those seven forces, and we have two of those. ROCUs talk to the NCA, National Crime Agency, NCSC, uh, is part of the sort of wider network of it. So the reason I put that up there is because we are part of that family, and the funding behind our we are starting up uh, tracks back through to the Home Office, and is part of some of the funding streams and the cyber strategies that have been talked about tonight. So I am now a representative of those seven forces. Academia. Presently we are linked to two uh, universities, obviously Sheffield Hallam and uh, Northumbria. We've chosen those because of their ethical hacking course around uh, forensic investigation uh, and cyber security. It's really important part of this model because the brightest young students and the innovation that's coming from the universities is what we're trying to pick into. So pretty much people know what police do. Uh, yes, there's a lot of emphasis around pursue, but actually in terms of cyber now, this is about protect. So this is about, uh, in old language, crime prevention or safeguarding. We can't do that without knowing what is sort of coming through development and everything that's been spoken about tonight you know, it is underpinned by that research that's coming through and, and sort of the bright young minds that are being applied into it. Curious Frank is a service that these universities are going to start to offer, and I'll just touch on that uh, a little bit more in a, in a minute. Third party to that, and this is the bulk of sort of the work tonight, is business. And in terms of business, there's big business and there is sort of uh, cyber, digital business and commercial business. Now, just to sort of name drop some companies and stuff that's involved in this, when we talk about who's involved in the NEBRC, we have got big business such as Lloyds Bank, Barclays Bank, uh, HSBC, uh, we've got DLA Piper, who's, who's a, a solicitor firm from Leeds. In terms of advisory group, uh, it's been named up once already, but Melanie Alden from Bob's Business, we've got um, Waterstones, Ascension, a, a lot of uh, commercially viable companies to come and sort of give advice and guidance and we are looking for more partners both at a board strategic level and an advisory group. Trusted partners they really from the 1st of April will be everybody sort of linked through to IESME so that Cyber Essentials, Cyber Essentials Plus from the 1st of April IESME are the only ones that are, will be the accreditation body to be able to give trusted partners uh, the ability to issue Cyber Essentials accreditation to businesses. In our northeast network, any sort of company that fits under the ASME model will, will be offered a part of the BRC and they are part of us as we sort of present at the minute. So collectively, those three areas have come together now to form the Northeast Business Resilience Centre. And really, this is all around safeguarding and creating a safer environment for businesses to flourish. So Across the board, when we talk about SMEs, small medium enterprises, from the sole trader all the way up to you know, 250 plus employees, 
this is our target audience. And collectively, everything that's been spoken about tonight, we're trying to bring together from the Business Resilience Centre to be a focal point for that message. We want membership from businesses as customers. We're looking at people to join us on the advisory panel. But really, I think from the takeaways from this evening is this is a, a big opportunity to do sort of partnership working around crime prevention. If we can use resources effectively, from a police perspective, we can put our resources into the right areas, the traditional policing uh, areas where perhaps we're a little bit limited at the minute, we want to invest in heavily. But if we don't get cyber and digital right, then we will undermine to all aspects of, of uh, investigation. So, North East Business Resilience Centre uh, is the first regional business centre that's come together, but from December 2019, there's going to be 10 of these across the country representing each of the collective force areas. So there will be a network of cyber resilience or business resilience, some of the different things, all linking together to try and sort of create some safeguarding opportunities. Just very briefly, you look at the current manifesto from the Conservatives, they talk of a, a UK cyber force. That's in development, that's going to come forward in the next 12 or 18 months. Networking current police, law enforcement, um, agencies all together collectively, what we're looking at doing from a business perspective is feeding intelligence, feeding reporting, because it's vastly underreported, people don't understand how to protect themselves, and if we can get that bit right collectively, we can make everything safer. So slide three, just some contact details. We are going to have some launch events, one in each force over the next two or three months, these will be on Eventbrite, we're through the universities. Uh, that's our website, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter. Please, if you don't do anything else, just consider, you've got friends, family, yourselves out there from an organisation perspective. This will be free to join. Some of the services that I touched on uh, from the students will be branded under Curious Brand, but we are going to use the best students that we can get from the universities and put their skills to the test. We are going to look at testing uh, web applications, vulnerability testing, digital footprints, just to help businesses start to understand what uh, the threats can be out there and how they can mitigate some of that. So, thanks for listening. It was only a couple of minutes. You can put that back down. <laughs> 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 Any questions? That's Thank great. You. Thank you very much.